since we don't have a torch, the only way through this ice wall is to clip in the corner. Normally, this clip isn't too bad, but the usual setup requires a jump to position Harry into the wall. Without that, this clip becomes a lot harder. The second sequence break consists in accessing a shortcut back to Mountain Sled Run earlier than intended. The geyser is meant to be unlocked using the TNT, however, the trigger is always loaded. So we reach it by going out of bounds and falling around the ice sheet. To go through the wall there, I use an item slide, which is a trick where I interrupt movement with an item which keeps the slippery ice momentum and ignores wall collision. 